So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover another amazing lab that is orchestrating the cloud with Kubernetes. So first of all click on start lab and if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel. So now we will get started. So basically in this lab we have to create a cluster, create pods and multiple things. So first of all open console in incognito window. In my case it is signing in automatically. If it asks for username and password check the lab instruction for it now you have to activate the cloud shell so just activate the cloud shell and if it asks for gradient continue like basic terms and condition you are aware of that just click on it and then continue so now here on the cloud shell click continue and then click on authorize so now we will move forward to the cloud shell session once it starts so finally guys cloud shell session is live now we will move forward to the lab instruction and we will do step by step so that you don't face any issue or bug so first of all we need to set the region so click on this and paste here so basically this command sets the region for our project and now we'll create a cluster so cluster creation takes 5 to 10 minutes even 15 minutes so you need to wait for that so i am skipping that part so let's go back to fast forward. So finally the cluster has been created now we will move forward to the next step that is pod creation so let's go to the lab instruction here we have to copy the sample code now, now copy it now we have to change the directory where we will be using the lab task now this will take few minutes so wait for that so finally this part has been completed now if you want you can list the files which you are working or just check the directory so first of all we have changed the directory and now we will be creating deployment so now enter it so basically it will create a deployment and then we have to expose the deployment and then we will hit check my progress so basically deployment takes time and once you click on expose it will also take time so you won't get score instantly you need to wait for some time so wait for it so wait for one minute keep hitting check my progress and once you get score you can move ahead so let me show you when you click on this services the external ip of nginx is pending so when it will show external ip that means we will get a score and if it shows pending we won't get score so wait for it and then again we will check the external ip of the and GINX. Finally, the external IP is also live. Now we will be able to get the score. So now let's move to the lab instruction and hit check my progress for this task. And let's see whether we get score or not. 
so finally it's done now we will hit check my progress for the task you'll get the score without any issue so now we will talk about pods how we will create multiple pods so first of all change the directory and now it's time to view the pod file if you want and let's create directly if you want to view you can run the previous command and now here if you want to interact you can interact but this is not compulsory you can open a new tab and then just run that command or here as you can see here we have to check the service basically we have to create the service so first of all go back to the first shell and enter it we have changed the directory for the service and now you have to create a monolith file so first of all enter these three commands and it will be created now create service file and then wait for some time and hit check my progress you will get the score without any issue so wait for a few seconds and try again so basically it will take some time so if you are not getting score basically it's a symbol that you have either missed something or you need to wait so let me see what error is there so there is not any error i think let's run it again and see whether it there is any error or not so now just create this file and as you can see it's already exist so we have to wait only as you can see it may take some time it has mentioned on the lab instruction so we need to wait now here you need to go to the service click on create and as you can see we got the score now we will create a firewall for it so just enter the firewall command so finally firewall is being created so wait for some time so finally the firewall has been added now we have to click on this check my progress and let's see finally we got the score now we will add labels to the pods we just created right now so as you can see this is the pods first of all get the pods and then run this command and after that if you want you can test it or just hit check my progress you'll get the score without any issue so just wait for some time and then hit check now again after waiting for some time you have to hit check my progress now just wait for a few seconds and we will hit check my progress again so finally after waiting to for two to three minutes we got the score now we have to create a deployment so for that just run it and you will create a deploy.yaml file so now we have to create services file and after that we have to do the same with these two files too and we can add more files too so for adding more files front end and auth hello and front end we have added three files so now wait for some time till you get score and if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel apart from these you can check the playlist for other labs and other games tutorials So finally we got the score and we are done with the lab. If you face any issue do let me know in the comments and check the playlist and do subscribe the channel. Thank you guys have a great day ahead.